So just after another big weekend there, we cornered between myself and Pat um, 50 bouts. So across all age groups from six years of age up to adults, masters, etc. Across multiple disciplines, gi, no gi, MMA, um, multiple belt levels from novice to amateur in MMA and from white belt all the way up through to brown belt in the jiu-jitsu. And... Yeah, performance, just something that we're honing in on around the end of the training towards these competitions. It can make a big difference. When you see a, a, a match, a contest between two people, and one person is considerably better, noticeably better than the other person, it might like look multiple times better than the other person. Um, at the higher and higher levels, that gap can still be quite evident, but the difference between the two fighters in a big skilled gap might only be 10 percent might not even be 10 percent it might only be two three percent and we're just looking at performance wise in the lead up to the contest how can you just get one percent extra just one percent improved performance some things that you can do is a camp for the event you know get specific with your training leading up to that event for it's up to you maybe five weeks six weeks eight weeks whatever works for you if that can get you 1% better performance, it's well worth doing. Secondly, being in the right weight class. Some people are, you know, they're right at the bottom end of the, or sorry, they're at the top end of one weight class, but they just don't want to have to think about their weight, so they go into the next weight class. And, you know, lower level regional comps, you get away with that. The higher and higher level you go, the more important it is to be in the correct weight class for you. Um, and aiming towards that um, another one that can make a difference is just the warm up the warm up before events some people ask them why do you do a warm up you warm up to get warm <laughs> obviously and when your muscles are warm you have a decreased chance of injury and if you do the warm up right you should increase your performance the muscle will respond better and um, you'll excite your nervous system etc you'll be more supple and you'll be good to go again maybe that can just make 1% difference to your performance but if you're after getting one percent from that one percent from a camp one percent from being in the white right weight class you know all these things add up um there's a bunch of other things out there as well that that could add that could add to your performance but they're just some of the main ones um game planning as well like if you're going to a tournament you're gonna you might be competing against a whole bunch of different styles but if you know your opponent in advance and you have a a lot of tape on the person that's another place that you can get another one percent in your performance relative to them and they all add up you're after getting four or five percent there it makes a difference between winning and losing so just make sure you hone in on your performance and prepare accordingly